Hi everyone, it's Dutch Reefer here, and welcome to this new Focus Friday video. So, as you might already see from the first few shots of this video, is that my scape has changed again, my reef scape, and that actually has a very good reason. That reason being that last week, on Saturday, after I made the previous Focus Friday video, I uh, decided to move some rock around and well removing that rock I'll show you which one so as you can see this Duncan previously was located here but it was located on a rock placed on a rock and that rock was supporting this plate and by removing this rock, it set off a domino effect. By moving this rock, another rock moved. And then there was a big pillar standing behind here, which completely collapsed in that process. Luckily for me, it collapsed in a very orderly fashion. Uh, so um, it, it just slowly collapsed into the middle of the tank. Of course, leaving a mess, uh, but not so bad that it would damage corals or fish or hurt fish or so it was a very controlled demolition as you might call it so I spent the better part of the Saturday rebuilding the reef uh, from this side you won't notice much difference although you could see that there's much more space in between the rocks right now and fish can swim through which I like a lot um, but on the other side you'll notice uh, the change is a little uh, better so in that same process I did decide to move some stuff around um, so a lot of the stuff here remained in the same space I moved this millipora to the top again so you, you can see it very well and uh, hopefully uh, I will get it back to color very soon and I moved my goniopora together here as you can see the red one and the green yellow one are doing really well um, the fact that the, the, <laughs> the brightness of this coral is actually this bright in real life so I, no matter how much I try to get it focused differently or colored differently this is really the color that I'm seeing as well uh, so of course very happy with this goniopora um, not sure how it got this bright but that's the way it's colored so I'm uh, very happy with that. This red one is also doing very well. And then this one has been doing not so well for the couple last couple of weeks. Of course, I, I moved it because it was in a different location before. So perhaps it will come back to life. But you can see already see alga growing on it. So um, I'm assuming the worst. Although I have seen corals coming back uh, being uh, in this uh, in this condition. So let's uh, wait and see what happens. Um, same goes for this uh, Goniopora, which used to be bright purple. Now it's more very light purple, almost white. And it's also because it's bleached. Um, but I, I already see that one recovering. So that's a very good sign uh, that it's uh, going in the right uh, direction. I have been spending a lot of time, uh, because I had two weeks off from work. Uh, fortunately, today is the last day. But then again, I like my job, so uh, <laughs> it's not that bad. Um, but the two weeks off gave me a good opportunity to uh, do some big maintenance on the tank. So other than, of course, the restructuring of the left part of the reef, which was intentional, intended, and then the right part of the reef, because it collapsed, um, well, that gave the whole tank uh, a, new, uh, a new flow dynamic. So that's very, uh, very nice. And I also uh, have spent quite some time siphoning off um, dirt from the water uh, because there was quite a lot of dirt on the, gr on the ground. As you can still see, there's still some, uh, but it's already a lot less than it was. And a lot of dirt was on the rocks. Uh, there still is a fair amount of dirt on the rocks, but I just keep taking it out, taking it off, and... Um, I had actually already used a power filter before um, uh, and one of the viewers said well, maybe you should install one now 
that's a very good idea so that's why I uh, put this filter in the tank it's called a power filter if you're not familiar with the concept it's actually a very uh, simple method it's a pump a power head right here which uh, pulls the water in with a rotor um, and then attached to that is a uh, cylindrical shaped uh, tube with holes in it and then when you attach, attach filter floss to that uh, the water will be sucked through the holes in the tube and of course then the dirt will uh, will, uh, will be uh, collected in the filter floss that you can see uh, right here it's a very efficient way of removing dirt from your water column uh, it's not permanent uh, but it's there for the next few I think two more weeks to get uh, to get that last dirt out of the tank so you already have seen this part of the reef as I restructured it you might see a little better now it's a very high pillar like structure which are with a lot of swim through and see through space as you can see right th like this and then the left part of the reef which is completely rebuilt based on the collapse last week so as you can see again a lot of swim through and see through space on the left here also on the right there's still uh, some pieces of rock piled together to create this overarching piece which then turns into kind of a bridge and because there is also a bridge on the other side you get a double bridge effect which then also creates a see-through to the other side of the tank maybe it's better viewed from this angle or maybe not ah, that's not very different uh, but the idea is to create a, uh, a very open uh, maybe just show it this way so there's a bridge right here which has the Milipora on it and then there's the arch right here which was already there and by doing this there's a double arch which then actually creates a really nice three-dimensional effect which is a little hard to show in video but I hope you get the point um, and get the idea behind uh, creating a reef structure like this so I'm very happy with the way it turned out let's show it to you from various perspectives uh, so the reef structure right now is as I would like to keep it for the next well let's say a year uh, I'm going to try to work with this uh, a lot of rock has been removed from the tank as also proposed by some of you in the comments uh, thank you for that there was a lot of dirty old rock in this tank and of course that doesn't help when you want to create stability if there's old rock it will more likely disturb the stability in your tank rather than uh, than add to it um, so all in all the collapsing of the reef was not something intentional but it was a good thing to have happened because that has allowed me to uh, to speed up the uh, the rescape process and uh, yeah just uh, just do it straight away and uh, luckily the time was there for me to do this so uh, yeah really enjoyed doing it and even more enjoying the outcome as you can see so the fish are doing well too uh, to be honest I haven't done a lot of different things uh, for or to the fish in the past few months so other than adding the uh, the blue ribbon eel recently I haven't added any more fish uh, first of all because I think my f my current uh, livestock uh, is uh, perfect this way so I don't need any more fish after adding the spotted drum or maybe the spotted drum was the last one it was close the spotted drum I think was added a week after the uh, blue ribbon eel and it has been and will be the last fish that I've added to my tank uh, in the last few months and for the coming few months 
since the tank needs to stabilize first uh, before adding any new livestock corals uh, as well so I'm not adding any more corals either because uh, well there's more than enough corals in there now to uh, uh, to pull through the uh, the elevated nutrients that I have in my tank at the moment and the detritus that I still have to remove uh, so first up now is a period of creating more stability and then after that we'll, we'll think about adding new corals perhaps adding a new fish uh, for now everything is fine uh, very happy with the way it turned out now it's time to get uh, um, my nutrients down so nitrates and phosphates um, and uh, creating stability will be the focus point of the first quarter of the new year so thanks for watching this video. I hope you uh, you enjoyed it. I hope you like the way the tank looks right now. Um, you can expect an upcoming review of some products by NT Labs in the next few days. Um, they were so kind to send me a couple of their products to review. So uh, it will be a separate video uh, before next week's Focus Friday video. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great weekend. Up. Oh. Very happy new year to you all, of course. I should have started with that, but yay, the <laughs> that's uh, something you usually forget. So, happy new year, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.